Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another addicted video. And this is how to kill a crab, and we're gonna do it two different ways. Oh my gosh. Woo! We're gonna do a lot of crab killing. All right guys, got a plentiful bounty here. Our crab length is minimum of five and three quarters. And as you can see, these crabs here are meeting the required length to be able to keep. We're allowed to keep 12 per person. So man, when we are catching them real good like this, you know, we gotta find real quick and ways to take care of them, you know, so we can share them with our friends and family, cook them ourselves and eat them. So we're gonna do a big, crab feed tonight, but we gotta get all the prep work done for it. So all these guys are gonna be going back with us to get cut in half or boiled alive. All right, welcome back you guys. Um, I know I don't look like Cameron. Cameron was here. Um, we had a little bit of a family emergency though. His uh, son got, uh, a little cut on his hand and they're just running to make sure he doesn't need stitches and stuff before it gets too dark before our our next adventure so so what we're going to do is we're going to get to killing these crabs using two different methods really quick before it comes to killing your crabs though you want to make sure that you keep them alive and fresh in the boat um, keeping them on ice a lot of people will put them in a bucket um, but when you put a lot of uh, crabs in the bucket they actually get all the oxygen out of the water suffocate and they die pretty quick so um, keeping them in a cooler, nice and cool, with a little bit of ice, um, keeps them alive, kind of stuns them a little bit. You can see this guy's been on ice. He's, he's still moving and moving his mouth a little bit, but he's a little stunned. And we're going to go into killing them right away here. So there you can see his mouth moving. And one thing you can do when it comes time to kill these things is you can just dump them directly into the hot boiling water. And that's going to kill them instantly. So you can just dump them right in the hot water. That's gonna kill them pretty quick. And we're gonna cook them in the boiling water for 13 minutes. All right, now we're gonna move on to our second uh, method of killing crabs. And what we're gonna utilize for this method, it's called the Kraken Crab Cleaner. And these things came out, I've picked mine up at the Sportsman Show. These things are made by a local guy. And it stores like this. It comes in pretty cool parts. So this is your crab measure, which you can use to ensure your crab is the right size so into that and you can tell this one is no concerns about being a keeper so this thing's pretty neat it stores like that it's got your measure and then you stick it into this plastic cutting board material and now it's ready to crack your crab and what you're going to do to kill this guy pretty quick and painless is you want to try to get it this blade lined up right down the middle of the crab here and you can grab them and hold on to them and just smash it or i like to kind of just line them up like i got here and then you can just hit them on the back of his back and once it's down on there you can grab these arms and it's as simple as just twisting and pulling the legs off okay Next thing we're, I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, shake it out, and remove these gills. So now that we're over in our garbage can, a couple quick flicks, and you can see you can get all the rest of the guts out of there. This is just his mouth. You can pull his mouth off. And then these here on the sides are the gills. So you just clean off the gills. And don't drop your crab, like Jordan. Hi, everybody finally made it and now this guy's ready to go in we're gonna put him in return it to a boil and go for another 13 minutes all right now's the time to add our halves into the pot and let it go for 13 minutes all right timers going off that's been our 13 minutes you guys now it's time to pull these things out so let's get them out of the water you can't even really see all right, there's one of our perfectly done halves, you guys. And our hole. Okay, so we 
went from catching these things, keeping them alive, preventing that acid from building up in their bodies. If they die and you don't cook them, uh, acids build up in the body and it can be harmful to you and make you really sick. So we've taken you all the way from keeping them alive on the boat to killing them using two different methods. We just got done pulling them out after 13 minutes of steaming, and now we want to try to chill these things down before we eat them. We're going to take them over to the con cooler and put them on some ice. All right, and here we're just going to layer them in there with our other crab, and I'll throw some ice on top of them. We've given these things a chance to chill and cool off. The next step, which is the most important, is the taste test. So let's get on over here. We'll crack these things open. We got our buddy Jordan over here. He can be our judge as well and see how these things turned out. <laughs> oh my God, that is so good. Mmm. I'm getting a hint of, uh, what is that, beard hair? Beard hair. God. <laughs> I try not to get my beard in it. But it's no, delicious. what type of meat do you, do you like the body meat? The body meat's over my the favorite, legs? and I like the claws the most. The big, the big claw? The claws, yeah. Yeah. The claws so, are my favorite. I feel like they have the sweetest meat. Everything else is just kind of the in-betweener. You know, you kind of enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah. But the body meat and the claws are my favorite. But it and, tastes delicious. And again, so what Jordan is talking about on the body meat, you guys, is when you pull the legs off in the halves, this meat up here, not actually down in the legs, but right up here in the body, this is what Jordan's talking about here. That's his favorite. And again, I use one of the lower legs to try to get out. You can see, look at, I got almost all of that meat out of that cavity. Almost all of it. Oh. <laughs> Jordan likes it. <laughs> so one of the things I like to also use is pull the bottom claw off. Hmm. Strip that off. I use this as a toothpick to really dig in there and get as much as the crab meat out as possible. That body meat. Oh, nothing beats fresh Dungeness crab, you guys. So if you live in the local Pacific Northwest area, get out there go crabbing you can do it from a boat you can do it with a guide you can do it from the bank you can do it from piers but you got to get out there catch yourself some dungeons crab cook them up kill them the way we showed you and uh enjoy the bounty that the great pacific northwest has to offer us all right i'm gonna sit here finish off the rest of this delicious crab i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give us a thumbs up make sure to subscribe comment below and share this with your family and friends and until next time we'll see you on the river <laughs>